Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm about to give you guys dating advice and dating tips for college. So before I get into it, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, bro. That's all I drop dating content, real advice here. And y'all see I got the purple business shirt on, right? So this mean, I mean business today, right? I've been getting the gains up. Got a little tight shirt on here. And this means I mean business. I'm not just wearing a normal t-shirt today, okay? So make sure you get your pen and paper out. If you a freshman in college, if you already in college or whatever, this can help you. Uh, but I will start off with some bad news for guys that's already in college. If you got a bad reputation, whether that's for being weird, that's for being thirsty on campus, or something done went real wrong, and all these women look at you funny or something when you're walking down the, down the campus and you see a girl and she looking at you like, what? Just know your reputation is probably already messed up. You can bring it back, but a lot of this shit I'm about to tell y'all is going to be based purely off of reputation, okay? So the goal here, bro, when you go to college, you got some things on your side. For a lot of you, you don't know none of these girls. None of these girls know you. So you in a good spot here and make sure you keep that mystery. I'm about to get into all of that, but that's that's the very key here. The goal here is that you basically want to end up having so much status and high value in the eyes of these women as possible. Women value men that are a challenge and that's of value that has some sort of substance. You might not be a football player. You might not be the best basketball player. Or you might not be on no team like that. If you're just a normal, typical guy at college, I'm about to give you some tips that's going to help you on college so that you can have better experiences with the women that you date, interact with, sleep with, hook up with, whatever it is that you're trying to do. All right. So the goal here, like I said, is that you want to be viewed as having high value and high status so you want it to be basically when you meet new girls this is the point you want to get to when new girls come on campus whether they transfers or you know the new freshmen that come here come in you want your reputation to precede you okay because you're pre-selected which basically means that you already shown that other women want you and women they kind of do this little monkey see monkey do type of thing where it's like okay well they want him so what's going on over there? I want him now too. And this is going to help you make it real easy to keep attracting new women and, and, and kind of, you know, uh, keep your retention high on women, have new women coming. It's going to make it real easy. So this shit starts from the moment you get on campus, bro. Like I told you earlier, all right? They don't know you. You have anonymity and mystery on your side. So if you're in a position, like I said before, where you know you're trying to dig yourself out of that, it's gonna be a lot harder to do that when your reputation already precedes you. But if you're a freshman or if you've been quiet on campus and a lot of people don't know you or you don't talk a lot, you can start doing this shit, and this shit is gonna help like clock clockwork. All right. So it starts from the moment you get on campus. Now these are not in any particular order, but I got six different strategies. Number one. I know a lot of you guys is virgins, okay? Don't tell no girls or no guys, especially no dudes, because hating ass motherfuckers. See, we talk about women nature all the time, guys, but a lot of dudes is fucking haters, bro. Don't tell none of these dudes that you a virgin or some shit. We had a guy in our friend group in my freshman year that we knew was a virgin, and basically motherfuckers would put him on the spot. And, for, and these ain't really good friends, I guess, right? But they put him on the spot in situations with women and basically trying to show that he was a virgin to make him get make him get laughed at right some bitch shit that's some bitch ass shit but guys will do that never tell no guys that you a virgin don't tell no girls that you a virgin okay because the way that the woman gonna think is okay so you ain't had pussy since pussy had you you want me to give you some pussy and no girl has ever given you any right and i know it sounds fucking crazy you 17 you 18 whatever the case but that's how they minds are okay so she going to think, why the fuck should I give you some? Do you see what I'm saying? So you never say that. You want to act as if, okay, you done had sex before, even if you have not. And if it actually came up that blatant to where a woman is asking you if you a virgin, I would just say no. And I would also be like, damn, that's personal. You, you, trying, to, you trying to know everything about me, huh? You want to mess with her like that or something. But a lot of times if a girl is asking you this, bro, you done show some bad signs typically already that make it look like you're a virgin. So most girls are not going to inquire about this. So just don't tell them. All right. Next, don't talk a lot. Don't talk a lot. Now, I know this is different than what a lot of y'all hear, right? You think that you're trying to impress the woman or show her, you know, you know, that you got good conversation skills and all this shit. Guys, you want to remain a fucking mystery. One thing that I that I had on my side when I was in college 
was that a lot of the girls was always trying to fucking figure me out. And I didn't even do this shit on purpose. It was just the fact that I used to do music and shit. So I would be doing music. I used to do songwriting with different artists. So I had a busy life outside of just my classes and shit. So a lot of times the girls be trying to figure me out. I don't talk a lot. I'll be at events, but I don't really talk. I just be sitting there chilling. You know what I'm saying? That shit helps you. That makes the interest go up. The more you let women know all this shit about you, the less interesting you are because they already fucking know. You always want them to feel like they trying to get more out of you. So keep your words to a minimum. Make your words fucking count. All right. You don't have to be a fucking blabbermouth. Just make your shit count when you say something. And the, when you talk less, guys, what you'll find is when you open your mouth, people want to hear what you say because you don't talk all the time. I found this happen to me in my job now. I found this happen to me at college. I be in groups. I don't really talk that much. So when I do talk, motherfuckers is like, what he's saying that's how you make your fucking words count and that when it's actually coming out the women is listening they catching on to it and now they thinking about you now they want to figure out more about you oh why did he say that like that what did he mean by that and now they sitting here interested in you because motherfucking blabbermouth over here just yapping away she don't want his ass she want the motherfucker over there in the corner you know he got his friends he got his drink he chilling he hanging out at a party and he ain't talking all the time or he in class he might say a little bit but he don't talk all the time all right number three do not try to be the funny man. Listen, I know all y'all think y'all funny. Some of y'all comment on my shit saying I'm funny. Bitch, I'm not fucking funny. All right, this is passion and real rawness that I talk with. I don't know why y'all think I got some sort of charm or some fucking charisma or some shit. You looking at me, bro, I ain't got no fucking charisma at all. I'm just on this fucking camera trying to give you some advice to help your little simp ass get better with women, all right? I like talking shit. Maybe that's funny too. Bitch, that ain't funny to me. I don't think this is fucking funny. I ain't no fucking clown, okay? But some of you guys think y'all hilarious. I promise you, you probably not funny, bro. You're not funny. And if you are funny, keep that shit with your homeboys. Don't try to be the fucking guy making her laugh. I know. Well, in the movies, they say, women say they like guys. That's funny. That's what they told me. Guys, women don't know what the fuck they want, all right? A lot of them don't, or they don't know how to articulate it properly. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to be trying to be the funny guy. It's better to be the cool, calm, you know, suave, suave, you know what I'm saying, type of guy. You know what I'm saying? That's chill, laid back and shit and relax. Trying to be the fucking funny goofball, you ain't going to get nothing but a bunch of girls that is basically going to look at you like a fucking joke. You want people to take you serious, guys. And this is going to help beyond just dating. This is going to help just in college. You want people to take you fucking serious. You're not a fucking joke. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, that don't mean you don't know how to be lighthearted and laugh, but don't be trying to be the fucking funny man, trying to make all the girls laugh and shit like that. That shit, listen, bro, we ain't doing that shit, all right? It's better. I'm telling you, you're going to get more pussy, you're going to get more girls, you're going to get more ass, you're going to get more respect from being a guy that's more serious. So if you have a hard problem with that, you probably need to start hanging out with guys that's more serious or you need to learn how to just shut the fuck up, like I said before, and stop talking so much. Number four, be social. Don't be a fucking hermit, okay? Yeah, don't be a fucking hermit and sit in your fucking room all day playing Fortnite, jacking off. We ain't got time for that shit. You should be going to class. After you go to class, you should go to the library or some shit, study. You should be setting up study sessions with friends and stuff. Guys, a lot of the girls I end up fucking around with and shit like that was because I was studying with them I was or I was going to events. I was a part of different things on the campus. And this is the thing. I would have been a part of more shit if I wasn't so busy as far as my songwriting and stuff like that. But even then, I made sure to make myself known on campus to some extent, especially among the black crowd. All the black people there, they knew who I was. That we was all cool. I knew who all the faces were. I knew all the girls. Sometimes we go to their dorms and we chill. Sometimes we go to, you know, a mutual friend's house and we have like a little party and we hanging out and shit like this. This is gonna keep you around. Now again, women are watching though. They always fucking watching. So don't you get around them thinking you with your homeboys and you and you trying to be one of the people that shit on your homeboys and all that shit. That's some bitch ass shit, right? To try to make them, you know, look bad in front of the girls, trying to impress the girls, being goofy and funny and all that shit and breaking frame. And you supposed to be sitting there chilling and just kicking it. You know, you with your homeboy and you over there. <laughs> so, you know, making all the jokes and making the faces and fucking blowing snot through one nose and slurping it back up and shit, thinking you funny. Guys, the women is always watching. So even then, make sure you keep it cool. But what this does is give you social proof that you're not a fucking weirdo and that you know how to communicate and other people like you. Again, you want the mindset to be, if, if this is how the women think. If I don't, if nobody likes his ass, why the fuck would I like him? That's how it works, all right? Next, never validate women. 
Now, this kind of gets, you know, misunderstood. Validation is just talking about compliments, guys. You don't want to be that motherfucker on the campus, okay, that's, that's, that's going around telling girls how beautiful they are, how pretty they are, and that's how you try to get women. Guys, these fucking girls will screenshot your ass, and they all got group, shot, group chats with their friends, and they're going to throw your fucking weird-ass messages in that group chat and be laughing at you. And this is why you walk around campus, or you see that girl's friends or her friend group, or you go back to class, and motherfuckers kind of smirking and laughing at you, like, <laughs> and they looking at you weird, or you can't get on with none of those girls. Even girls that might have thought you was cute at one point, they changed their whole mind on you. You never want to say no weird shit over text, especially. You don't want to be complimenting all the time, validating. All you need to do, bro, is again, you be serious. You make the fucking approach or you still talk to the girl and you set dates or y'all hang out or she come to your room, you go to hers, y'all meet at a party, whatever the case. But don't be doing all that. You so beautiful. You so pretty and all this shit. That shit is, is going gonna, is gonna to fuck up your reputation, bro. And you, uh, uh, this is how I work with a lot of women. When you fuck up with a couple of them, especially on a campus, depending on the size of it or in a class or a school, you're going to be fucked up with all of them. That's why I say this shit starts now. And none of these are in any particular order. So that's why y'all got to stay to the end because some is more valuable than others, you know, and it might help you more than others. Next, number five, don't be that guy going to uh, going up to every girl at parties. OK, why? Now, I get it. You got to play the numbers game to some extent. Some girls, you ain't going to be their cup of tea. So you go talk to another one. Okay. But what you don't want to be is that fucking cat calling motherfucker going up to every girl thirsty as hell like a damn dog. <laughs> pants and walking around trying to get some damn pussy when you go to parties guys you should sh you want to show that you just there to hang out that's why fucking women go to hang out you notice that you looking around standing at ass the girls is dancing and shit and you thinking about the titties and everything and the girls is over there with their fucking friends having a good fucking time party yeah turn the fuck up you know they in there going crazy and shit and you over here thinking about how you gonna get some ass tonight Go to the party with your homeboys or with a group, mixed group, your homeboys, your homegirls, some girls you fucking with, whatever the case, and just hang out and enjoy the night. You see a girl you want to talk to or she's sending you some sort of choosing signal, she keep looking at you, she's smiling, or you see the opportunity, yeah, go up and talk to them. I done did that before, but what I've never fucking been is that guy, and you know that guy, and you know if you are that guy, so don't be in fucking denial, okay? You know if it's you or not. You'll be at the party, and the damn girl... I mean, you see a guy, he going up to every girl, he in everybody's face, and he think he the man and shit. Yeah, I'm fucking Chad, motherfucker. I'm like, yeah. And the girls is over there like, I don't like him. He's so fucking annoying, right? And they'll come talk to me. I don't had that happen. The girl come talk to me telling me, yeah, that guy weird. Why does he act like that? And he think he doing something and he the life of the party, but you just like a fucking jackass, okay? And a thirsty motherfucker. You don't want to look like that. Number six, this is the last one right here. Never kiss and tell guys i could think of five situations in my head off the top of my head ranging from middle school to high school to my other high school to both of the colleges i went to to post college where basically i had a friend group that i was fucking with okay remember what i told you one girl start fucking with you it only take one or two bro that's all you need all right to set this shit up and then you just got to stay within these rules and guidelines and you'll keep getting more girls and new girls okay so basically I would have friend groups that I was fucking with. I'm fucking the different girls in the friend group. And these girls is throwing themselves at me in the friend group, being slimy to their own fucking friends. Girls will do this shit, guys. See, y'all don't know that. You think girls is all nice and all this shit and, they, and only men is like that. No, women don't give a fuck. If they want a man, they will do some grimy ass shit. You know, and I, and I was fucking with girls that was roommates and all this shit. Why, though? Because I never would kiss and tell. Now, I've done it before. I done fucked up and did it before. And best believe, it fucked me up bad, okay? But I'm saying, in these situations, I was not kissing and telling. Let the women talk, never you. Because women talk. Let, let, let that be the rule of thumb. Let the women talk, but never you. So women, they will go. If you fuck them, they're going to tell their friends. Yo, yeah, yeah. Especially if you a guy with some value or something or somebody that they happy about and they want to brag about, which is usually why they fucked you, they're going to go tell their friends that you done put that dick on them. Yeah, they're going to tell them friends. You ain't got to say nothing. And when they tell them, all of a sudden, the girl that might have thought you was a six, especially if her friend is attractive, if she thought you was a six, all of a sudden your ass might be an eight or a nine in her eyes. She want to see what that dick like. Yeah, that's how that shit work. I know women can be very grimy like that. But if you kissing and telling, it makes you look immature and make the women not want to be freaks with you. So this, this is what I want y'all to understand about women. 
Women are freaky as fuck. A lot of women. Almost all of them. I have never met a girl that wasn't fucking freaky. Now, I done met some that's boring sexually, but they all, you know, they like to be nasty and shit the same way to some extent that men do. But the thing is, they like what they call plausible deniability. They like it to look like, you know, it ain't, it ain't, you know, she, she don't want it to be her fault that she being a freak and that she being a slut. And she also don't want nobody to know that she's doing that. Regardless of these damn liberation movements and sex, you know, liberation movements, a lot of women still don't want to be known as the slut. It's still kind of bad, right? And, and even the girls that, that are flaunting it, they kind of flaunted it in a general sense, but they still don't want you to know the specifics of what they do. And they like to usually try to fuck guys that keep their mouth closed so she could be the biggest freak in private, but in public, she could act like nothing happened. She ain't going to be able to do that with you or feel comfortable to do that if your ass is always telling you, telling your homeboys or other girls that you don't fuck with her trying to get some sort of status and shit. Guys, I done did it before. It's immature. It's nothing to brag about. Take, take the W is the fact that you got the ass and you know what happened. Just look at it like that. Never kiss and tell. And in these friend groups, but what the reason why I brought up the friend groups is because in these friend groups where I was fucking with these girls, the girls knew I was fucking their friends or fucking with their friends, and they didn't give a fuck. And the fact that when they would talk to me, I would never mention it. I would never say. Man, I fucked this girl. Literally, two of the girl's friends just kept talking to me after that. It's like they was trying to see, you know, how is you and blah, blah, blah doing? You know, they mentioned to their friend, how is you and blah, blah, blah? Is it like this? Is it like that? Oh, that's cool. Knowing that we just fucked last night. And I'm thinking in my head, this girl done told them we done had sex. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. I didn't say nothing, though. I didn't say nothing. That make them more like, damn, this motherfucker... He won't even tell me. He won't even tell me. Now they start to feel like, okay, well, I can slide my ass right in this spot too. And he ain't going to tell her that I'm being a, a slimy, grimy ass fucking friend. Do you see what I'm saying? But you'll never have situations like that. Or you'll never have girls want to be full freaks and comfortable if you kiss and tell. So those are all the points right there. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know y'all experiences with any of these. If y'all fucked up in any way. If y'all apply them and it worked. This shit, this shit is game changing, bro. Run this shit up. Share this with your homeboys. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.